the X tool in Pulse 919. Some people will love it, some people will hate it. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. This video is meant to show you the parts that you will love and prepare you for the parts that you will hate. And maybe, just maybe, you will have a long lasting relationship with the X tool IP 919. Hello everyone, I am Bogdan. I help people upgrade their cars and to do that, I need the capability to evaluate their health of the cars, not of the people, before and after the upgrades. Here is where tools like the IP919 are very useful. I know that I say this about many other scanners, however, the X tools have a special place in my heart because they're one of the best tools when it comes to data logging. Full disclosure, X tool has sent this product for review, however, they are not directing or influencing the content. Also, it is very possible that by the end of this video, they will not send any other products for reviews because I will be brutally honest. And that's a very good reason for you to watch this video until the end. A bit of an overview. Where is this scanner in the XTool lineup? XTool has a big product lineup of different diagnostic tools at different price points and levels of complexity. Personally, I started many years ago with the D7 that later was upgraded to the D7S, D7W, and for more power, people would have went for the D8, D8SW, and the top of the line was the D9. Well, the IP919 is now the upgraded version of the D9, with the main difference being that it has a better CPU. It has officially a 8 core, 4 gigahertz CPU that makes this unit very, very fast. If we started with the specs, let's discuss the specs. The IP919 is running a 8 core, 2.2 gigahertz CPU based on my tests has a 10.1 inch screen, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of ROM, a 6400 milliamp battery at 7.2 volts, which equates for 246 watt of power. Battery testing on this one, shown a 8 hour and 13 minutes discharge time and a 5 hours and 35 minutes charging time with the free amp charger supplied with this unit in their fancy little charging docking station. It has USB-C, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, wired connectivity to the vehicle, and it will support basic kind of the DOIP FCA authentication and comes with a large box of accessories. I'll show pictures somewhere over here. And now to make life even more complicated, Xtool is also selling the IP919 Pro, which has the same hardware, only that it has a different software, a software that will allow ECU programming and BMW guided diagnostics. Okay, pricing and where to find it. Because this is a new product, you should be able to find it on Amazon, AliExpress and eBay. But stocks on Amazon and eBay are quite low. The best place to find it is AliExpress. Affiliate links will be available. Should you use them, you will be supporting the channel with no additional cost to you. Also to mention upgrades and other costs. These units are sold as standard with three years of free updates. After that, for the standard version, you are looking at approximately 200 pound per year for updates. And if you go for the pro version, that one is around 300 pound per year. AliExpress is again a very good place to shop for these types of updates. What should this unit be all about? What are the people marketing this unit saying that it is able to do? Officially, the IP919 is a professional all-in-one diagnostic tool that will offer full system diagnostics, bi-directional control, data logging, ECU coding for this one, ECU programming for the Pro, a lot of servicing functions, 42 if I remember correctly, key programming, topology mapping, and has the widest range of vehicle covered. X tool is quite generous when it comes to this. After hearing or reading this type of description, you are expecting to get the perfect tool. Your expectations are very high up, but life is not always sunshine and rainbows. So let me share with you what I have tested and know about these products. The brutally 
honest part because only after understanding that these tools have quite a lot of limitations and problems, you will build a strategy to best use them. The bad parts about the X tools and the IP919 are as follows. Sometimes with the auto scan or normal scan, these tools can be temperamental, especially if they're not able to pick up the VIN of the vehicle based on the CAN. Sometimes on very, very new vehicles, again, you will have difficulty in selecting the vehicles and running diagnostics. The bi-directional controls will sometimes fail. You see them in the list, you click on them, nothing happens. Servicing functions can also be in the menu, but they for example, will not work. My case scenario and my pet hate is that the fuel bleeding procedure on these tools doesn't work for the BMW F10. Coding, it is advertised on some vehicles is very limited. Descriptions and labels and the layouts might be very confusing and I didn't see any improvement on those little bits. These are the extreme cases because for the rest of the stuff, the tool is quite good and offers a lot of value. But if you understand these limitations that can happen from time to time, you're able to now look forward to the good stuff. Because even for those limitations, there are go around, there are other ways of looking at the problems and addressing the issues. But those things require you to have the patience and the will to do the research. So I'm going to mention the good parts of this tool, the things for which you should really appreciate it and the things that make it quite a special tool. With the new CPU, this tool is fast, really, really fast. It's able to read DTCs and clear them with some magic wizardry faster than anything else that I've seen. It has an excellent selection of special functions. Data logging is amazing. Live data search, visualizing that data, storing it and outputting it is something that is next level didn't see it on any other diagnostic tools the hardware is future proofing your diagnostic capabilities you get odometer correction you get get advanced key programming for the bmw cas4 systems i've identified the function that would allow for you to be able to code and add keys via obd which is unheard of at this price point and the overall build quality, additional function, the, the software updates and the support that you're getting from the seller make this unit quite a useful thing to consider and to get in your process. Now that we know a little bit the limitations of the tools, we can have a clear conversation about what functions are really needed and what functions we can live without. You might conclude that this is not the right tool for you or you might conclude that this is the perfect tool for you. I don't call it a perfect tool. I see it more as an imperfect tool, but one that can surprise you with some functions that you will not find anywhere else. My conclusion regarding this tool is that the IP919 is a capable all-around diagnostic tool. It will inherit some of the quirky problems that the X2 software has, but it is packed with features that make it an excellent value for your money. It is by far the best affordable data logging tool that I ever seen. It is fast and effective at doing diagnostics. It looks professional. It offers key programming, advanced key programming. It also offers odometer correction, and it might be exactly the tool that many people will go for due to its variety of functions. Now, let me know what you think. If you're looking for a more affordable tool, then maybe you would want to look at this little one or maybe even this one. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.